Hey guys, what's going on? James here back with GetOnStream.com and in today's video, we're going to be showing you how you can go ahead and import scenes from Streamlabs OBS to OBS Studio in less than two minutes. It's super, super quick. This is going to save you hours of time from manually doing it. I'm just going to shut up, jump in and show you exactly how to do it. If you do enjoy the video, please do give it a big thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you're new here. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers before July. Hopefully you can help us do that. But let's go ahead, jump in, get to the meat and potatoes of this and show you exactly how you can do it. So the first thing that we want to do is open up Streamlabs and open up the scenes that you normally use when you're live streaming. So inside Streamlabs, just to the left of sources here, there's this little drop down and this will show you all of the different scenes or overlays that you have imported into Streamlabs OBS over the time that you've been streaming. You can see here, I've got quite a few. I update them every so often. The one I normally use is this modern animated one right here. So what we wanna do is come in to manage all. And in here, you're gonna see all of your different scenes. What we wanna do at this stage is just rename the one that we want to import into OBS, just so that we can easily identify it later when we're doing the import. So select this and click rename. I'm just gonna add something like brackets OBS import so that we can easily see that later on when we go to import. So I'm gonna save that, click done, and that's all we need to do in Streamlabs OBS. So now you wanna pull in your OBS, open it up, make sure that you have the latest software. If you do not have the latest version of OBS, this may not work, you may not get the same screens that I'm gonna show you right here. So to import, what we need to do is come up here to scene collection, we wanna click import right here and this screen is going to pop up it may ask you do you want to see scenes that you have in other softwares just click yes and that's when you'll see this so now we can see all of the different scenes here that we had previously in Streamlabs. you may see some stuff from like xsplit or other streaming softwares if you have them but right here we can just easily identify the one that we want to import obs import right here i'm going to select that click import nothing's going to happen at that stage don't worry, all we have to do is click, come up here to scene collection, and now you will see modern animated OBS import in brackets, the one that we imported, click that, it's gonna import, and now all of my scenes are down here in the bottom left, you can see I can flick through them, and we're pretty much ready to go. It's even importing, you know, latest subscribers and stuff like that, that we have on here. So you're literally ready to go in a couple of seconds. That's all it took to do this. Uh, obviously, you're going to have to come in here to your different, you know, video capture devices, your game capture, and obviously just install them like you normally would in Streamlabs. But once you've added them, you're ready to go. You can stream in OBS. Hopefully, it's a smoother experience. You experience less lag on your stream, meaning that you can go out there and enjoy your stream that much more. So that's it for this video. Again, if you do like this quick, concise tutorials, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more. Go ahead and check out getonstream.com for a ton of different tutorials on streaming and i'll see you guys in the next video